Today, Denver and state officials will be celebrating historic investment in the South Platte River. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has awarded more than $300 million to Adams and Denver counties for flood risk reduction and restoration projects along the Platte River. Now, news reporter John Glasgow joins us from South Platte River at Confluence Park. And John, what part of the project can now be finished because of this new funding? Yeah, this is a major cash injection to a project that's been in the works for some time. Now, the plan is to restore the ecosystems along the South Platte River. This $350 million will cover two thirds of the $550 million price tag. So the South Platte River project is planned is to restore wetland habitats, improve recreation and mitigate flood risk along a six and a half mile stretch of the river. Weir Gulch and Harvard Gulch will also be upgraded too. Now the money is coming from the Biden administration's $17 billion federal infrastructure law supporting flood mitigation projects across the country. The South Platte River flood of 1965 was one of the worst natural disasters in Denver history. 14 inches of rain took out bridges, washed out roads and knocked down homes. 21 people died. Now back then it cost more than $500 million in damage. Today that's more like 4.1 billion. So the project will restore wetland habitats along the waterways starting from 3rd Avenue in Denver and extending north into Adams County. So the project is expected to reduce uh, the re risk of flooding uh, for more than 350 homes that are along the South Platte River. It's also going to create more green space and make it a lot more attractive down here as well. We're going to hear from the officials later today as to uh, when this could all start happening and what the long term plan is here, guys. This is great, super popular area. And John, this funding could also help a major project in Denver. Yeah, it's already beautiful down here, but there's also a plan in the works to add even more high rises down in downtown Denver. And part of that plan is to restore the South Platte River. Ruresco is the developer that's behind this massive multi-billion dollar river mile project. The plan is to redevelop 62 acres along South Platte from Confluence Park over the next 25 years, adding homes for more than 15,000 residents and ultimately displacing the Elidge Gardens Amusement Park. Now, city officials, they're estimating that the project could be finished in the next 10 to 20 years and uh, there's already a lot of planning in place for that. They hope to break ground but again a big part of that Corey is uh, redeveloping the South Platte River and making it uh, friendly for people to be able to use it and we could see a lot of restaurants and a lot of different things but it's all going to depend on restoring this major waterway here through Denver. Yeah so this is a big deal but it looks like it's going to be really nice loving all the improvements. John thank you.